in this clip you can tell that the blood doesn't look very realistic so to be able to create that realistic effect we have to edit the color and it looks a bit looks a bit too orange to be real blood so if you go to video adjustment change the levels and keep the exposure the same but change the brightness down to about minus 44 the contrast up to about 55 and the saturation down to 15. Also want to give it a bit of a bluey grey effect so bring the colour in down to the blue area and as you can see it gives it more of a thriller, thriller feel about it, more horror, spooky. In this clip I want to use two different sections. I want to use all this where the girl is crying, rubs her hands on the sink. However, I don't want the part where she comes up and there's a girl stood in the door. But then I do want the part where she starts coughing and is sick. To be able to do this, you need two of the same clips. So just select it and bring it up to the top. And on the first part, you're going to go to Clip Trimmer. The yellow block around it, it means the parts that you've selected. So we just want the, we just want the first half of this clip. Let's so bring the bar all the way down to when the girl is rubbing her hands. Fiddle around with it to make sure that you've got the right part. It's round about here. Then you're going to do exactly the same. Go to Clip Trimmer, but this time you're going to use the second half. So bring it all the way back up. You're going to go past the part with the girl still at the door because you don't want that bit. And just use the bit where the girl starts coughing. If you play this, it should flow well. But if there are any continuity problems, you can always clip trim different parts to make it flow better. And that's the transaction between the two. We actually use this part in our final piece. And this is what it looked like after we edited the colour as well. As you can see, it's more effective 